Hey, Rich Nass, Embedded Computing Design. I am at the Advantech World Partner Conference. I'm with Sean Jack. He is the Vice President of Embedded. How you doing, Sean? Great, how are you? Uh, I'm actually doing great. I've heard some really good talks, and um, but I do come away with these, from these talks with a lot of questions, and Absolutely. hopefully you're the guy with the answers. I don't know if I have all the answers, but I'm happy to answer. If not, you'll make them up, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. That's what we always do. So, first one is a very broad one. Okay. We're, we're talking a lot about um, ecosystem. Sure. Everybody has their own definition of an ecosystem. What is your definition? Well, my definition of ecosystem is, look, it's in particular when you're talking about IoT, there's no way you can go from sensor to cloud by yourself. There's nobody that can do that. So for us, we're very good at embedded industrial compute. And so from an ecosystem perspective, we're looking for partners that can help bring the products and services that we have to bear to the customers that can connect the unconnected and be able to instrument the assets that they're trying to drive and, and you know, place in the markets that they serve. So for us, an ecosystem could be a software provider, it could be an ISV, uh, it could be an SI that's gonna actually install it and manage it, um, it could be an OEM. So it just depends on the uh, where we're at in the markets that we're trying to serve. Who do your customers look to when they want these ecosystem tools? Are they coming to Advantech and saying either you provide this or you, you tell me who I should go to for, to, to pick up these tools? Yeah. Or are they, is the ecosystem well developed enough that it's pretty obvious? Yeah, I think the challenge in particular in the industrial space is it's very fragmented. So depending on the industry, some of the industries are more mature than others. Uh, in particular, when you're talking about IoT and connecting you know, to the cloud or gathering data and making insights off of it. Um, but for us, right, when we're looking at the different industries and in particular the partners that we work with, we try to become a trusted advisor. And so how do we do that? We want to understand their pains, needs, and motivation. And once we understand that, we may earn the right to provide solutions to help them address their needs. So for us, when we're working in the marketplace, we're trying to understand who they are, where they're at in their journey, and how we can help them. And if we can help them, that's great for us, right? But there's often times where it's like, hey, we're not the right fit, but here's another partner that may be able to help you on your journey. Um, so we try to take this collaborative approach. We're not trying to force fit anything, um, trying to really truly understand where they're at and how we can help. Okay, so this was the point in the interview where I normally say, well, thank you very much, that was great. However, <laughs> okay. um, I, I saw your talk this morning yeah. and you said something that I wanna call you out on. Sure. Uh, EV infrastructure, charging industry. Sure. You said that Avantech was late yeah. into that space. What's up with that? Yeah, so uh, when I say we're late, this is the challenge, right? I, I, we, we look at the three Ps. It's people, products, and promotion. And in particular, when you talk about the EV infrastructure space, we've always been selling general purpose compute products into the space. But the challenge we had is we didn't have people that, when they wake up out in the morning, they're thinking about EV. We had general purpose people trying to call on EV. We really didn't have products that were specific to the EV space. So now what we're doing is we've hired business developers, we have R&D teams that are specifically focused on EV infrastructure, and now we're taking those products and promoting those through our ecosystem partners and our channels to be able to take those to market. So I think you know as we go into 2024, more than ever we're prepared to address and support the EV marketplace uh, more than we ever have been. So that's, that's my comment. Is, is it not too late to get into the game and be a significant player? It's, that's an interesting question. So I was actually just talking to another individual after, the, after my presentation, and he, he laughed and he said, look, I think there's a great opportunity for EV. He was just uh, renting a car, and it wasn't a Tesla, and he said one of the challenges he had was just trying to find where to charge. And he finally found something at 11 p.m. at night, and his wife was freaking out because they weren't in the best area. Um, but they had to do it, right? They couldn't find a charger and they found one. I think, you know, there's a big opportunity, in, in particular in the North American marketplace, um, to build out the infrastructure, and that'll help accelerate the adoption of EV, EV uh, vehicles itself. Uh, there's a lot of people that I think are on the fence because they think, oh, well, if I want to go from here to, here to there, where am I going to charge? Tesla's done a great job. I think some of the other automotive manufacturers have a challenge that needs to be addressed. So for us at Advantech, our goal and objective is to be able to look at the markets that we serve 
and see how we can help uh, enable those markets to have success. And then we look at the EV opportunity as, in particular, there's a lot of OEMs that need support, need help. Um, there's a lot of complexity in the architecture that's there today that we think we can simplify and help actually make it more cost effective on how they build those chargers. Very good. Now we'll say thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it.